Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after cleaning up our borders a bit and failing to dissolve the alliance between the King of Pala and his vassal. Thankfully, we were able to get the plot going again, so hopefully we'll have better luck this time. Although, I'm fairly certain that we don't actually need to worry about this alliance, what with Mr. Thickneck here being Paula's vassal and all. But, I don't know if they've changed the system since CK2, so I figured we might as well play it safe. But, then again, the only way I'll be able to find out if this alliance will be an issue or not is if I declare war on them while they're still allied. Having said that though, I've already invested so much time, money, and effort into the untimely demise of this nice young man, so I think think we'll just go ahead with it. Yeah, sorry kid, but you're not long for this world. Hopefully. Alright, well, while we're waiting for this to pop, I guess we can go ahead and declare a war against Yijinai for the rest of Minyak, so... Oh wait. Oh. Maybe we can take the kingdom of Kamarupa. Um, how much of it do we have? We have... Oh, not a whole lot. I see. Actually, we might have two-thirds of it if we take this county. Interesting. Alright, well, I think we'll do that then. Um, but before I do that, we have a ransom request for... Oh, that's your husbando. I see. Alright, well, for a hundred buckronies, why not? Fantastic. Mazel tov and, uh, you know, best of luck and all that jazz. Alright, anyone else to ransom? Captain Kashi? Right. So, is that your wife? I see. We could just... murderate her. Um... But I think I'll just take the uh, 50 bucks. Amrita? 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Ugh. Don't even bother me with for 10 bucks. 25 bucks? Except I think we want to keep you for war score purposes. For future wars. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, 30. Interesting. Um... Sure, is that your child or something? Yes, I believe so. Alright, well, sure. Fantastic. Alright, so... Not too bad, I guess. Now, I could use up the uh, duchy here, but I think I'll just wait for it to explode. And the duchy of... Oh, right, right. We're actually uh, working towards that. Okay, sure. Let's do it up. Um, hold on. Do I have anyone else to seduce? Oh, wait, no. We're already uh, seducing uh, Yunu. Gotcha. All right. Well, um, Shomo, if you could maybe come to my court, that'd be great. Oh, I guess you're bringing one of your children. Right, okay. Um, what about you, Prisha? All right, we need to get you uh, converted first. Sure. Thank you. And I think we're good for now. Yes. Can I... Oh! You have a title now. Interesting. Alright, well, um... Hopefully you're okay with this arrangement. Because I'm not gonna stop banging her. Alright, kid, let's do this. That's been enough uh, faffing about with my gums. Um... Am I missing a CB? Where's my CB for rate for captives? Uh, is it because you're a king? Alright, so maybe I'll try using it on a duke then, sir? Do you have any captives that I can take? Um, no? Wait, is your court too small? Alright, so maybe it needs to be a tribal title? Although, I'm pretty sure I uh, used that against the former uh, Duchess of Khotan, so... Hmm, and I'm pretty sure she was feudal. No. Nothing here either. Um, what? Is it like a one-time use? Can I get some more information on this? Grants the rate for captives cast as Belli. Right. Never saw this tooltip before. This is a special type of war started by a ruler whose faith practices human sacrifice. The primary goal of raiding for captives is to do battle and capture prisoners for sacrifice, with either side able to get enough war score through combat to win without ever having to siege. Right, we knew that part, I think. At the end of the war, if the victor, including the, def the defender, follows a faith practicing human sacrifice, then they will take several prisoners from the court of the loser. If both main combatants in a raid for captives follow the same faith, 
then the war is considered sacred, meaning that the loser still receives reduced piety even in defeat. You cannot conduct or continue a raid for captives if you have any prisoners obtained through winning a raid for captives in your dungeon. What? Are you serious? Why? This is not exploitable, is it? I mean, what's the point of that? That makes no sense, and also there was no mention of this anywhere at all. Why wasn't this documented somewhere else, besides in this very obscure tooltip? That makes no sense, okay. Sure, so I have to, uh, I guess, either release or murderate the prisoners that we got from the war. Um, now, when you say prisoners that we got from the war, do you mean the prisoners that we acquired from the battle? The siege or from winning the war? I'm assuming the latter. Okay, so I seem to distinctly remember asking that very same question when we actually waged and won the war. I seem to recall seeing a pop-up um, or a notification telling me that I've captured some people from the battles or the sieges or whatever, but never any notifications about the people that we captured from winning the war. So from when I clicked on enforce demands, because I'm pretty sure those are the ones that count. Is there a way to tell which ones are the ones that we captured from the war? Um, so I've noticed a few of these guys say in dungeon as opposed to in house rest. And I'm pretty sure I didn't put them in the dungeon myself. Um, right. Now, I'm fairly certain Khotan was a Tibetan culture, so maybe we can go by that. Sogdian? I'm pretty sure they weren't Iranian. What the hell? And as far as I'm aware, we don't have any Sogdian dudes in our dungeon. No, they're all just Tibetan or Indi uh, Indian. Um, okay. I don't know if there's some sort of like way to tell. I'm pretty sure this wasn't six years ago. So I think we might be going farther down the uh, rabbit hole here. Um, it wasn't four months ago. It wasn't 10 months ago. So, most likely not 13 months ago, considering that these guys are of the same culture. So, uh, my assumption is that they're from the uh, same court. Uh, most likely not you either. Not you. Budpa. So, this guy might be a part of it, but he was captured at around the same time as this kid. So, maybe not. Alright, so let's see. We have about one year ago, and then we have about two years ago. I'm willing to bet that it's around this time that we um, won the war. Hmm. Should I just murder people at random? Which I guess is kind of my MO. Um, Alright, well, this lady doesn't like me, and she's also vengeful, so I think maybe I'll experiment on you. Miss, if this doesn't work out, then um, know that your sacrifice will have been in vain, because I don't really need the uh, piety gain from executing you, so... Yeah, this will all be for naught. Um, your close family members will get angry at me. Sure. Do I care? Wait, so you're of... The Mimar Dynasty. Gotcha. Anyone in my realm? Um, I don't think so. And they're also filthy heathens, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Sure. Um, right, so your close family members are these guys. I see. Well, I'm pretty sure they're not my realm. They're all wandering, I think. Okay, well, miss, rip in peace. Fantastic. Um, great. So, can I now do Raid for Captives? There we go. Are you fucking serious? That was the correct one. I just took a random stab in the dark, which is exactly what she got. And now I'm able to uh, do this again. Alright, so how about some fucking courtesy and let me know which ones exactly I captured from the war? I mean, a simple notification telling me that... These are the captives that you gain from um, enforcing demands on your raid for captives at war or whatever would have been nice. Or maybe even a mention in the fucking uh, little logs here. Come on. I mean, who thought this was a good idea?
And why stop us from doing more Rake for Captives thing if we haven't executed the uh, captives? What if I'm just letting them stew or cook? Why do I need to, like, kill them immediately? Like, come on, that makes no sense. <sighs> Anyways. Sorry, I wasted, like, ten minutes jibber-jabbering. Uh, jibber Alright, let's do this, kid. Um, your death has been a long time coming, so... You've got twelve dudes. Well, rip in peace, kid. Rip in peace. Fantastic. Um... Am I competing with Thick Neck? I am definitely competing with Thick Neck. Alright, well, you know what? This is actually perfect because after we win this war, we'll most likely get this um, defensive war transferred onto us, meaning that we can uh, pummel this guy and diminish his troops and all that jazz. And maybe shave off his really thick neck. I don't know. Alright, troops, let's do this. Wait. Why do I have two things of bowmen? I did not raise these guys. I'm pretty sure I inherited these guys, didn't I? Yeah, I don't think so. I would rather get another stack of onagers, because they're desperately needed for sieging shut down. And I'll just go ahead and upgrade these things. Fantastic. Nice, having extra prestige. All right. Um, sorry kids, but you have to go home. I mistakenly, uh, mistakenly raised you on the other side of our uh, empire here. Alright, so let's put you there. Fantastic, and maybe you can go kick their teeth in. Although, they're most likely just going to stop, so I guess we'll just go towards your only um, territory then. Sure. Alright, so what else do we need to do in the meantime? Um, I think that may be about it, right? Yeah, we could go for a hunt, but I don't have any stress right now. Um, maybe we should start building some stuff in our holdings. Or rather, upgrading some of our stuff. Although, it is 100 buckronies. Um, well, I don't think we need to worry about the money too much. Yeah. And we really need to, uh, we only really need to upgrade a few things, so I think we should be okay here. Sure. And that one as well. And Tezu. There we go. And the castle buildings, we can't build anything there either. Or anyways, uh, right now anyways, so sure. Alright, cool. At least we still have about um, 700 buckaronis. So let's roll with it. Fantastic. And Prisha has converted to uh, Don Yipoloism. And you brought your children. Right, right. We knew that. Are you a champion? Not a champion, are you? I mean, I'm just assuming by the uh, helmet, but maybe not. Alright, sure. You've actually got 50 more troops. If you insist, I mean, I don't really believe you, but... Wait, you just accepted the ransom? Oh, right, right, because it wasn't a request sent by them. Oh no! She's got the herpes! Oh man, I don't want the herpes! Okay, well, you know what? I think I'll just bang with you, bang you, and uh, move on with my life. Or should I bring you anyways? No, nope. thanks, miss. Um, but as much as I used to enjoy um, the quote-unquote divine disease spreading through my dynasty and all that jazz, maybe I'll stay away from the from the time being and move on to Yeshi here, who is Amazonian and thus. A much better candidate for banging. Fantastic. Alright. Um, and you guys are still moving in there. Gotcha. And some other dude has died in my dungeons. We should be within the supply limit, yes? Fantastic. So why don't you guys just stay there and uh, siege it down. And where is Thick Neck's troops? I see. Alright, well, we might as well just raise the rest of our troops up and go fight Thick Neck now. Or maybe we'll wait. No, we should wait. Mmm, not feeling well. Okay, sure, I guess. Why not? Alright, there we go. We got a metric fuck ton of troops coming in. Oh, nice. And of course, they'll be uh, losing supplies as they wait for their compatriots to join. Alright, 100%. Actually, can I ransom this child first? I cannot. You make me sad. What about this guy? Nope. Not even in my dungeons. Sure. Sorry, kid, but... Yeah, you were just kind of in the way. 
Fantastic. All right, so let me just quickly give this county away. Um, although I guess I could just have my uh, wife help me with the stewardship stuff and then temporarily increase my domain size limit, but mm, I think it's fine. And this isn't the capital of the place, is it? It is not. Gotcha. Uh, Donny Poloist and Lamont. Age. I think we want to go for the uh, youngsters in this case. So let's see. Any youngsters with no family? Definitely not my dynasty, thank you very much. So again, any youngsters with no family? Come on. Mother and fatherless uh, children. There we go. This guy might be decent. He seems a little angry, but maybe he'll uh, lighten up once he... I don't know. You look so much prettier with a smile on your face. Sure, that's a nice thing to say to someone. Um, Alright, well, I guess we'll need to uh, tussle with these guys now. So, fine by me. I'm assuming we recruited as much as we can, and we don't actually need 10 more months to uh, recruit more dudes. Sir, if you can maybe hold off on um, traipsing through my territory, that'd be great. Uh, you know, about this baby, I'm assuming it's mine. And Yeshi, I'm gonna make a bold declaration and pray that this works. Yeshi, please be impressed. Um... Okay, well, your herpes has in fact evolved into uh, great pox, so I'm just going to not acknowledge anything that we've done in the past. Alright, let's just send my troops uh, to uh, completely crush them. And we might have to worry about uh, supply limit in our own place, but that's fine for now. Alright, please don't fail this again. Please. Okay, well, thank you. That moment of tension has been ruined and... Alliance has been dissolved. Hopefully. Yay! It worked! Absolutely fantastic. Alright, so we don't need to worry about that anymore, I guess. Uh, demonstration of leadership. My Marshal Duchess Droma has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing her interest in uh, matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the woman is waiting for me to impress her. I could not probably engage her in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for her to simply see me interacting with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. So I can raise her opinion on me. Right, but she absolutely loves me already, so I don't know if that's really necessary. Or respected figurehead. Levy reinforcement rate. Um... For two years. I don't think it really matters. You know what, I think we'll just go with this. Uh, 20 troubles, again. So, who's my victim this time? Ting Shou... Her. Okay, so I guess we can make her a rival. Or... Have Duchess Deki be my friend. I'd rather go for the friendship. Sure. Can you stop moving around, please? Listen, I'm just trying to tussle your butthole. Stop this. Stop moving around. I can't tussle your butthole if you keep moving like this. Alright, please be caught. And Takin, is that baby mine? I'm assuming the answer is yes. This one I'll share for sure. Fantastic. And there we go. 13,000 versus 3,000. Nice. And of course, summarily crushed. Fantastic. Alright, leave some troops behind and move on. Um, although we might want to send the stack up there too. Hold on, hold on. Can we make sure that our stack doesn't just have all the onagers? Guys? Please? Alright, so just one stack of the onagers should be enough. And you guys can split. Perfect. Alright, so we'll send one stack up here. Send the other stack to over yonder. And then we'll uh, try to progress as much as we can. And you are allied to this man, I assume? Or something? Sure. Uh, I've had the least success with this one. Um, I don't know if I should even bother, honestly. Yeah, you know what? Just in case, I'm not going to bother. Because I get the feeling that I'm going to uh, pick the wrong choice no matter what I do. 
and then that's just going to uh, frustrate me. Alright, in the meantime, you guys can come back to our territory to uh, rest, I guess. Sure. Or, actually work on that one next, because that still wouldn't be the same county. And I've just inherited the duchy of this place. Sure, so which counties do I need to give away? This one. Gotcha. Alright, so who wants this duchy? Who wants this not so brand spanking new but still relatively new duchy? Let's go with only the lady types. And... Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Whoa! Very cool, alright. You know what, miss? Um, I'm gonna take a chance on you. And uh, give you this duchy, so enjoy. Fantastic. And I hope you don't let your, um, you know, disability get in your way and all that jazz. In a good way. That made no sense, but that's fine. Alright, I guess we'll go tussle with this guy's troops. And you guys are moving on to the next location. And rival dead. Fantastic. Alright. Leave troops and move on to the, uh, well, just, I guess, go into my territory, I suppose. Because otherwise, that's going to be attrition. What if we go like this? Oh, the rivers are too, um, too thick to, uh, cross through normally. Gotcha. I don't know if we're actually going to catch up to this guy. Maybe we can try to sandwich him with our two stacks. Mmm. Rat bastard. Really just giving me the uh, right run around here, aren't you? Alright, there we go. I think we might actually be able to uh, catch up to him. Possibly. So, why don't we let them... ...cross there first. And... Hold on. Yeah, no. Uh, just wait. And we have... Uh, well, good luck, kid. You might actually get, um... ...syphilis, so... Yeah. Good luck. There we go. Alright, we can finally sandwich this guy. And we have just finished our cultural uh, thingamajig, so let's move on to Cassus Belli. I was hoping for banners or crop rotation for our exposure, damn it. I guess I don't necessarily need to follow that, but I figure we might as well just, you know, um, get that uh, out of the way. Alright, let's see. Do we have any counties with low holding or low control? I guess along, sure. Work on that, please, if you don't mind. And... Okay, let's just uh, start moving into that location. Sure. Gotta make sure he doesn't uh, run away. And you have... Oh, right. So you've converted that uh, county. Gotcha. Um, So in between episodes, I noticed something that's a little alarming. We have this duchess here who's of the wrong religion. Uh, but she is married to the duke of this place and what the fuck dude that is not a part of your duchy man you fucking prick all right you know what um i'm gonna ask you to convert i'm gonna hope that you say no and then i get a uh, reason to imprison you and looks like we lost our uh, spy master when the fuck did that happen all right and I'll have you fabricate a claim on that place. Yeah, I'm hoping that he'll rebel against me and then I can just uh, fuck him over and all that jazz. And also his wife. Alright, there we go. Sandwiching is... Yes, she will be mine. Alright, so she's converted, which is the exact opposite of what I was hoping for, but okay. And yes, she be my lover. Fantastic. Miss, please come to my court. Nice, and who else to uh, seduce? Not Pelmo, Mina. Let's go with Mina. There we go. Nice. And more troops coming in. Fantastic. Yeshi, you're already uh, done, you pull us. Perfect. And crushed. Alright, let's get the. Excuse me. Uh, Kingsguard. Yes. Fantastic. What? That was barely any war score. That was like no war score as a matter of fact. Unbelievable. Oh, I want my money back. The worst. Alright, fine. Um, maybe we'll get compensation by kicking your teeth in. 
So that's gonna take attrition. I guess you guys can maybe just spread yourselves apart. Sure. I think that'll have to do for now, because I'm pretty sure we're actually getting all of our troops into um places that we can get into. Without taking attrition, that is. And oh yes! Suvrata is pregnant. Fantastic. Let's pray that it's another uh, Herculean child or something. And of course, we're about to get hit here, which is not great, so... Um... We might need to come in to defend. Possibly. Although, things might already be too late. As it is. Um, let me get an organizer or something, maybe. Who's an organizer? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think we might be able to get out of here. Wait, hold on. What if we don't do that? Okay, so what if I instead get a really good commander? Um, and don't get reinforcements. Okay. Then what about this guy? Nope. Let me get the other commander from some of the other stacks to help us out here. Not you. Not you. You. Definitely you. Alright, so if I put her in there, will we do better? Uh, yes. I believe so. Okay, and then we'll get the reinforcements, of course. Sure. And you guys can move on to that county there. Yeah. And you are... a disappointment. Unfortunate. Alright, so this fight might be actually pretty touch and go. We kind of need to make sure that we get our reinforcements fairly soon, and I think we should be okay for the most part. Taking some casualties. And somebody's exposed my secret, I guess, which is fine by me. As long as my um, wife and various other lovers don't freak out about this. And yes, she's pregnant. Fantastic. There we go. Quite not lost. Though, I'm pretty sure we've taken a lot of casualties, yes? Oh, wait, no. Is it this one? Um... Wait, was that this one? I guess that was that one? Wait, is it left to right or right to left? Where's that? Okay, so that one's not it. So... Alright, that one's not it either, I don't think. Um, I think it was this one. Yeah. Wait, we only lost that? No, that wasn't it. Oh, damn it, it was the other one. Shit. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, so I think we've taken some casualties, probably, is kind of my guess. Uh, we still can't move on to their capital right now. All right, Mina, you are diligent, patient, and lustful. Warm and gentle heart, spontaneity and vigor, unparalleled breathtaking beauty. Well, you are beautiful, so I think I'll just go with that, which seems to be kind of the uh, trick there. Gotcha. Deposit and move on. Assuming that we're not going to take any attrition. Fantastic. And you guys are working on that stuff. Still only 58% war score though. Which is a little concerning, not going to lie. Um, just in case, I'm thinking maybe we might want to follow this stack here. Because they might want to get fresh with my uh, other stack. Unless they're planning on retreating to some other part. Which I guess is entirely possible. Sure. Now, you're not looking to uh, jump me, are you? I'm assuming you are. Alright, well, let's try to split up our stack a little bit. Um, supply lim lim limit is there. A uh, fine is there. Is fine there, my goodness. Apparently, this one war has cost me my ability to uh, speak English. Which was tenuous at best to begin with. And now it's just absolutely horrendous. Just fucking terrible. Are we actually going to lose this? Are you sure about that, sir? Because I don't think that's going to be the case, but if you insist. All right, let's get you in there then. Um, although we might want to leave the onagers before we get into the fight. Sure. And whoa, okay, nice. 94%. So I think maybe we just need to uh, win this one last tussle and we should be good. Are you sure? Are you really sure? 
All right. Put me in there. There we go. Now we should win this for sure. Hopefully, at least. And... Come on. Boom. Reinforcements? Fantastic. We're so good that we don't even need to attack them. We just stand there taking those blows. If you know what I mean. And 100%. Fantastic. All right, sir. This is a dark day for you because not only have you lost your uh, liege as your ally, but um, you just lost this war. That wasn't really our intention. All right, so flame force demands. 561 buckronies. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get ready for our, our war with uh, Yijinai here. So, Armalab, you are currently attacking this guy. Can you fucking not? Can you just stop right now? Before I end you? Because I will end you. Stop cyberbullying this man. You rat bastard. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can maybe get him to stop right now. Good. I'm still not gonna save you from my wrath though, because I'm going to uh, take your county one way or another, dick nuts. Wait. You've only got the, uh... I guess you have two counties, right? To yourself. Well, hopefully he'll rebel against me. Um, That might be a little tough, though. But uh, hopefully it'll work out. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and possibly go to war with her for the remainder of uh, the kingdom of Mario. And then, well, maybe not and then, but I think we'll start things off by going to war with this guy for the rest of Minyak. And then we'll have to uh, maybe plot to remove him for the rest of Amdo, possibly. And then we can go to war with uh, Shag Shag Shagari, I think. Yes, that's it. Sorry, I had such a hard time uh, saying that name for some reason. Um, but yeah. Wait, has that duchy been destroyed, by the way? It has not. What the hell? Why hasn't that duchy been destroyed yet? Unbelievable. Ugh, oh, just the worst. Alright, well, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.